Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of The Venture Bros. Um, I watched Season 5, Episode 1, so now things make more sense. Not that this show ever makes sense to me, but still, I now know why uh, Vatrit has boobies. <laughs> why, why Dave slash Dean has got dark hair and all that jazz. So, um, if you'd like to see the full unedited reaction to this episode... And lots more episodes. The link is down below. Also, my social media links. Just if I go away for a little while, I don't want you to think that I've quit because that's not the case. But, you know, I've got other things in life that I have to do, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, keep you up to date with all that. Let's just get in this now and have some fun. Wait, hold on a second. He's not waiting for the monarch again, is he? Okay, I didn't really plan for this. Freeze! This is fixed! <laughs> Gary! Come on, you idiot! I swear I'm gonna be So he's still waiting for Sphinx, but he's using the venture no the monarch's um tech still. I'm about to kill you. I was being a good guy! You left me Sphinx! What did you expect me to do? Honestly use a hot tub a couple of times. Not run around like a lone wolf fighting crime that we are already <laughs> fighting. Is this my cross? Yeah, just don't be a Batman, be a... Alfred. Where's hatred? What is this, the silent treatment? Yes. Ha! <laughs> I am liking where they're taking the character. That's the thing about a lot of animated shows. The characters seem to just stay the same, and then in an episode they'll change. And then it'll be back to normal again the very next episode, like The Simpsons and Family Guy and what have you. But with this, the characters actually have growth, and I think that's really one of the reasons why I like it so much. It's impossible! I, uh, think it might be 21. 21 is my most loyal man! How dare you! Should we... I love that he still hasn't got that 21's left, and he's doing his own thing now. I just, I just, I think that's brilliant. It's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Well, they're filled with buffalo wings, then. And we should totally collect the ones without dirt and lawn chunks on them, because they are awesome. Yeah, I would as well. I'm not gonna lie. I would too, because I love me some food. You can tell I'm not lying, right? <laughs> Philly, next week. I knew this day would come, but come on. Destiny? Destiny is a stripper's name. That's a loose woman. He's going to be having dangerous sex with a trollop that has Pray for Us Sinners tattooed across her forehead. This is ridiculous. <laughs> hey, sex is sex. She could have anything tattooed on her head. It could be like, I think about my... My grandpa. <laughs> nope. He should be with a Pam or a Pamela. You're a Pammy, maybe. Pammy? The boy's not ready for a damn Pammy. Hatred, you keep an eye on him. Gary, my extra man. So, it's the same name, just with so, some... No, just... We're just gonna move on. We're just gonna move on. Waking up the whole block with that screaming. What are you doing? My girlfriend lives there. <laughs> Why are you still screaming? <laughs> My Hold girlfriend. On. Hey, you want me to read misconnections or casual encounters next? I mean, has he done something different with his hair? <laughs> It's time to pick fun code names. Okay, let's get creative here. How about wind song? Oh, that's so funny, man. I love that. This is great. I'm boiling in this costume. I'm dressed like an Eskimo. Inuit. <laughs> I am totally into it. It's hot. Well, they're called Inuits, not Eskimos. Will you stop? I'm also into it. And she's still crazy sexy. It's the voice. And I know I'm aware it's a man's voice, but even that voice is quite sexy. She is a lively one. That's that's hunk, right? Well, that's destiny. Unless you have some other business, visiting time is over. Why don't you make me leave? Yeah. <laughs> Metaphor. Well, this is awkward. So, why is Hank dressed like a woman? Is is it always been his dream to be a woman? Yeah, Tad. Once you see them, it's too late. Here, give me a hand here. You gotta get them at the larval stage. Beaver larva? Well, it's a baby, like a baby, but a baby beaver, a little baby beaver. Yeah, these are uh, beaver deterrents. They emit a high-frequency pulse that beavers just hate. Drives them nuts. So, 
The monarch is now getting Rusty to plant bombs in his own base, home, whatever. Right when everything gets super cool. Gosh, my sweet countess. Daddy's back. Everything is just as it was. So they don't know that Dave, uh, not Dave, and it's not Dean, it's Hank. That Hank is that person, I'm assuming. So that's going to be their way out of this. Picture of Venture dressed as Rambo. You get to see this, you will piss yourself. Um, sweetie, Hatred found the explosives. Did you not catch that? What the f*** is this? He did what? Get, get your crap, we can leave through the back. Why are you old guys doing this? Revenge? So you wait 30 years for me to put out a want ad? You want the truth? You're gonna hate it. I don't even like talking about it. I might as well. I'm clearly not busy here. So they do know that it was Hank. Okay. I mean, the must have. It's just my stupid brain. It's been a long day, okay? It's very late. Yeah, that was her strength suit. Okay, oh, weird strength. Was a strength suit. All right, get to the bridge. I'm going to try and find the engine room. So they implanted chips in their brain. And instead of trying to find a way to get them out, they're just going to go out with a bang. Maybe you masturbated with a Furby. What could be so bad? I just know a little too much. You want to rap about it? You want me to make up a rhyme? Oh, I was trying to be a... Dean? <laughs> In my head, I'm like, right, let's quickly think of a rap. But I don't do raps. <laughs> I mean, chicken raps. <laughs> Damn photo, I can't run this alone. Look, look, and it's me in that picture. I'm playing with Dr. Venture. Playing. We what? So they've known each other since they were kids. My God. Are you on his lap? He needs my bosom, Brock. Plus the suit's frozen. <laughs> I can't move. My countess forgot that his suit is programmed. Oh God, that's funny, man. Come on, man. Oh, who's gonna feed my snake? Wow, it's so depressing. Just look at him. I suddenly get why my dad used to say, I'm not gonna punish you. You've punished yourself enough. <laughs> That's horrible. This uh, kinda looked better on you. You work it like a Wookiee. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't get it. It looks like we just blew up Sinks for the last time. Well, there we go. That's the end of Sphinx. Good episode. Um, I would say it's the first episode, uh, What Colour Is Your Clean Suit? Uh, of season 5, I think I enjoyed the most. I think it was just super wacky and insane. But I, I do love the fact that um, Gary is becoming a, a good guy. Again, it's, it's the thing that most animated shows don't do they, it's character growth and change and stuff like that um and the ones that i'm used to just aren't you know they don't do that and this did and i th uh, this show does and i think that's one of the reasons why i love it so much um another good episode i do want to see more of um brock again because i love brock and i really need to see him again um so yeah please more more brock um but yeah I'm really loving this show. You just know I love it to bits. Um, sadly, getting close to the end of season seven. Hopefully, there's a renewal by then. Um, and I get to watch the new seasons with you guys. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Geordie Nerd. I'll see you all again very soon for more Venture Bros reaction videos.